forget my hair is long all the time but then when i do like a twist out or a braid out i'm just sitting here like come on bruh like welcome back to another video I'm gonna be doing a twist out and I normally don't really do twist outs like that I normally do a twist out at the top and then three strand twist at the bottom that's what I normally do but I'm gonna switch it up for you guys we're gonna do something new okay so my hair is freshly washed I've deep conditioned it I detangled it and I have nothing in it so I'm gonna start and this is not a leave-in but I'm gonna start with the Maui moisture and I'm gonna do it like I normally do my wash and goes. So what I do is I just get some and I put it through both sides. And I know you guys are gonna look at me like I'm crazy when I do this, but what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna go through with some olive oil, some handy dandy olive oil. And I'm gonna put that in my hair. So I just feel like it gives me a lot more slip and I'm gonna put this side up so like I always say guys I always just make my life easier and already put it through my hair and then I just add extra as I go by it's like I'm doing a regular washing room so I got my leave-in that's actually a conditioner Cause I'm gonna start doing that because honestly I've been running out of leave-in conditioners it's like a lot of leave-in conditioners that I've already used so if you know of one that you think I didn't use or you know of like a secret one please let me know in the bottom because I, I need your help like I have is the curl quench and coconut oil curl smoothie for thick curly hair okay next product which is the Cantu shea butter natural hair no mineral oil sulfates parabens silicones yeah all that jazz so but basically guys like if i use silicones like any products with silicones i will let you guys know beforehand i'm gonna go through my cream and then i'm gonna go through my gel and then brush it out now brush it out now brush it out Okay, I think I'm gonna like twist like that and see how they come out. So when I'm twisting it, I'm wrapping it around my finger like a finger coil and then I just keep going down. And then if you need to add any extra gel, cause gel is the last thing that I put, then you just go through and add some extra gel. And when I get to the end, I just roll it. Just stick it in the middle. Not parting it out or anything. You can do that if you want to, but I ain't doing it. The reason why I'm not doing it because I'm lazy. <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. But some people say they don't like parting out for their parts days. But I don't know. And guys, it's, it's about that time, guys. <sighs> it's about that time for the natural hair videos to stop. Cause I'm putting in my weave. I'm putting in my weave and I am so excited because I need a break. I need a real life break. See, this is when I forget how long my hair is. Freaking all freaking day. My laziness went up now. Cause I've been doing wash and goes. Don't forget to coil it. Guys, I feel like I'm putting way too much product in my hair. And I think I know why. I think it's because I'm using a leave-in and a cream. And then it's like I'm putting already a lot of leave-in in there. And then it's like already hella stuff in my hair. But yeah. Maybe my twist will stay in because I feel like if I don't do this, I feel like my twist just like unravel and it's annoying. So we're doing it this way. I'm just like so heavy handed with products. I don't know why. I'm so bad. And I make sure I get my roots too. And then I brush the gel through. 
y'all are probably like oh my god your twist looks so sloppy but you know what i'm gonna do too i'm gonna like bobby pin the roots i'll show you guys what i'm gonna do so i could get less shrinkage you guys are gonna see me get like border and border Bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. Motherfucking house bored and I'm bored in the motherfucking house boy. Bored in the house, bored in the house boy. And guys, make sure that when you do your um your twist, you make both sections as even as possible and put like enough hair in both sections. And the cream is feeling like really moisturizing. I noticed that. Oh, this cream, I don't know. This cream is like I can feel it. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but I can feel it actually like coating my hair. I'm going to definitely start using more oil on my hair. I'm doing the LOC method, leave in oil cream. I'm doing this method because I feel like it's better. I normally just, you know, go through with oil when I take out a style. Oh, y'all probably looking at me like, dang, all this product in your hair. Half section on this side. My roots are looking like but it's okay because i'm gonna go through and bobby pin them and i'll show you guys that you gotta do a prayer every time we do hairstyle <laughs> i've gotten to that point and i definitely still like doing this um style using a denim brush i feel like denim brushes are really good with um smoothing out your hair for a style that's what they're good for i don't feel like they're good for detangling like that's that's a no. It's a no for me at least. We're almost done. So I've had twist outs and braid outs and then when I take them out, if they're still wet, they just like, they still dry and they still look good. I noticed that when my hair is really weird. What's it? We are done. So guys, this is what it's looking like. And I think I'm going to just kind of seal it with more oil because I feel like that's what will really moisturize my hair. I'm just trying this out. I feel like it's gonna work. I feel like I just need to start putting more oil on my hair. Bobby pin method, which you guys probably have already seen this, but I'm just gonna take all of these and just do it one by one on each side. So I got my bobby pins. And then my twists are already kind of unraveling, like as you can see. I'm gonna twist it. And bobby pin it and if you feel like it needs an extra bobby pin then always do that and you can kind of bobby pin it how far down you want to i'm gonna do this one like right here i need it to be on flat flat so that way you can get more stretch out of your twist out and then just fluff it out and it's still be big but stay tuned for the results guys i got you okay guys so it's the next day and my twist are all dry this is what they're looking like right here is still looking kind of scary but i still have the bobby pins on them so now we're gonna do the takedown process i have this oil by allocate naturals it doesn't want to focus so i'm just gonna use this start taking down all these bobby pins because it's a lot in my hair but yesterday i slept with no bonnets because I wanted to make sure they were dry. So I just slept with my silk pillowcase and that's it. Currently it is 2.48. So yeah, they've had a long time to dry. At first when I woke up, they were a little bit wet. I woke up around like 10. So I was going to sit under the dryer, but I was like, no, let me cook and stuff. And just give them time to dry because I didn't want to put heat in my hair and sit under the dryer okay i'm pretty sure i got all of them out so i'm just gonna go through at first and put some oil on my hands rub it together and just get all of them and then i still have oil on my hands so i'm just gonna start taking it down there's still a decent amount of shrinkage though honestly so now I'm just gonna go through and I think I'm just gonna like break them apart. Is it gonna be big? I don't know. But that's it separated. I know it's hard to see because my shirt. But look guys, it came.
came out really good like honestly uh, I'm always so surprised I feel like I don't know I get luck when I um when I make videos and honestly like I don't I still kind of feel like my ends you guys can't see it on camera but I feel like my ends are like a little bit frizzy I don't like that maybe I'll just put more oil like on the ends and then go up Okay, so this is the first side, guys. Oh my god, it actually came out cute. I am so surprised. And just because I kind of feel like my ends are more dry, I'm gonna get my oil. I'm gonna make sure that I take the ends first and put it through and then bring it up. I didn't take it down. Oh, I knew I was gonna have another bobby pin in my hair. It's always a secret bobby pin. Yeah, I feel like the top part is like so shiny. And then when it gets to the bottom, it's not as shiny. Yeah, maybe you can see it more on this side. My aunt said, uh-uh, no. They said no, especially this curl. They said, we gonna be dry today. I'm gonna fix my damage. I don't know if you guys can see it. Okay, I'm trying to figure out, like, I like how flat it looks. So I definitely would recommend twisting it and doing the coil as you twist it. It's a lot better to do it that way. Oh my God. I feel like I gotta get like a close up for you guys. Come, come a little closer. Okay, hold on. I like to keep as much definition as I can. But oh my God, it is so shiny. So I definitely like these products. I definitely like the cream. The gel too, I feel like it's not, it's not crunchy, it's just, it's perfect. I went ham with the products, but honestly, I feel like I did it. I feel like it's really moisturizing and I really like it, it's cute. But once again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And definitely try this twist out.